All right, so what we're doing now, guys, is uh, I uploaded, uploaded, I'm going to shoot five rounds of this guy right here. This is the 6-hour 77 grain Elite and the uh, Open Tip Match, pretty much Sierra. Uh, I do know that uh, the 1 and 8 twist, 16 inch, loves a 77 grain. I love a the uh, Magtech, uh, especially for the uh, barrel that I have from uh, Wilson Combat. That upper, it just is spot on. With the 77 grain running at about 26.50, uh, it matches absolutely perfect with ACSS reticle, which I run on my uh, competition scope. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to shoot at the top left. We're going to put five rounds, and uh, hopefully it'll be on paper. Okay. We're close. Let's just leave it there. Very nice. I'm gonna get down on this thing here. Get down, get down, get down, get down. Do -do -do, do -do -do. I had a bag. I'm gonna put one more round. I just want a five round group. Let's see if it'll bring it back. That pissed me off. I rushed it. I don't think I could rush it though. There it is. Nope. Okay. Uh, now. Let's run the uh, 75 uh, boat tail hollow points through it and see how that goes. And then we'll run it up to uh, 200. Right side, target. Sun is finally dying behind something. Okay, so huh. the uh, Sig Elite is kicking butt right now. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, run this stuff up. Put five rounds at 200 yards, and we will use that top target. spread than I would have liked. Let's see how the uh, Hornady does. Well, shit. <laughs> I didn't bring it that far left. Oh, 
Well, let's take this uh, scope off and mount it to uh, Econ 1 and see how it does with this high pollutant type bullets. Here we go. Well, here we are. We're uh, back. I got the uh, scope changed out. I swear to God, I, I don't know why I didn't put more than one scope in, on, in my bag. And secondly, I don't know why in the world I didn't go with a uh, QD attachable uh, scope mount on this go around. But in any case, same drill with this guy. I know this is anticlimactic, but we're going to do five rounds. Start off with the Hornady. We're going to go ahead and shoot the right side target. And guys, the only reason I'm using a bag is I just don't know what to do with my left hand. Okay. Come on, baby. We're all rooting for you. We really are. Okay, so we're going to go to 77 grain, do five rounds, five rounds on that uh, bottom left target. Come on, tighten her up. Oh, hello. That's what I'm talking about. Are you kidding me? Oh, Billy, 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 Billy. Ha, ha, ha. Way to go. Now that just illustrates the difference, guys. You could go from a 75 grain Hornady right here that it doesn't like to this 77 grain, and it likes that 77 grain. Guys, that is that is huge. Okay, so when using a 77 grain, that turns this that turns this rifle into a a three gun contender. Period. I am I am very happy about that. I'm big time on the. All right, so we're gonna go f <laughs> out at 200 with the Hornady. I tell you what, that Sig uh, 223 Remington 77 grain is is doing it, man. Wow. Let's see if that got us anywhere closer. There we go. Yeah, we were hitting up in that patch of group. That's not a bad group right there at 200 yards, boys. That's actually better. Huh. Oh. Well, for all the barrel snobs out there, I think that this is clear, and I'm not rooting for it because I paid for that uh, 
money pretty much out of my own pocket. This barrel was sent to us uh, by uh, Bear Creek Arsenal. I don't think it's something that they specially tuned because you saw how it fluctuated with the uh, mil spec ammo from the 55 gram Federal over to this. But, guys, uh, I don't know what to say. Let's go over here to the review panel booth thing and let's just talk about this, shall we? Hmm. Well, all right, there it is. We just finished our test. I just want to give a big shout out to uh, Primary Arms providing uh, the scope for this thing. This is the uh, 4 to first focal plane scope with the R grid 2B reticle, which is perfect. Uh, one of the reasons I do like it is because it does have the chevron tip and you're able to literally put the tip inside of a one dot circle uh, at 200 yards. Now let's talk about this real quickly. So, um, the, uh, what do we call this budget rifle? This is Econ 1. And then we have this guy right here. Uh, my my so-called Billy Baru. I really wanted this guy to be uh, badass, and it is. Uh, I think that this is a, uh, as far as a cycling performance pistol or rifle, I think that this guy's probably a better performer. Uh, it was a better performer. Look at the discoloration. Wow, that's beautiful. The uh, patina on the uh, gas block is really cool, or the gas tube. Um, the, this guy right here really uh, held its own when it came to uh, keeping zero at, or consistent zero, after a 60 round burst. That was a lot of fun. Uh, but at the end of the day, I want to show you something. Um, what are we looking at here? This is the 200 yard. Uh, this was a 75 grain. That's uh, less than a two inch. I only had three rounds. I don't know what was going on up here. This is full money, and it was all over the place with both series of those rounds. And I'm pretty sure you guys saw it before I did. But this is the uh, 77 grain, I believe, and uh, that's a two inch. That's MOA. This is sub MOA. This is a gaggle of whatever it was. Um, I was real excited with the uh, outcome here because. Up, upside down. The right here, that SIG, we were getting really good. This is a four round shot group right here. Um, and that's really, really about as good as you're going to get. Uh, we had a couple right here that really screwed up the sequence. This is the 75 grain. I don't know what was going on there, but this is, I think, the winner of the day, the most consistent. And that was the 77 grain SIG. Okay, so. What does that mean? Well, let's take a look at this thing. In the long run, we've got two rifles here. Uh, Econ 1 is roughly about, I think we had $638 in the entire rifle, uh, and that included the freebies. I, I, I put a price tag on those. Uh, and that was retail pricing on everything, okay? Um, then on the full money, the way it sits right here, uh, this guy's probably going to run, well, I know it ran. I've got uh, $2,200 in change in parts on this guy. So, who came out the absolute winner? Well, I think the most absolute value, better value, would be Econ 1. Uh, I think that uh, the money well spent was in the trigger. I think the barrel did a fine job, as you can see right here. That's evident. There's no disputing that, guys. That's a that's a one MOA shot with a 77 grain open tip match. Now, did it do as well on the uh, <laughs> where the hell's the other target at? Well, anyway, did it do as well on uh, using the 55 grain? No, it didn't. And did it do as well in the uh, temper? Uh, the you know the, the where we do what would you call this mag dump heat test? and we're coming back, maintaining the zero at 100 yards. No, it didn't. Uh, so you're giving up some pluses and some minuses, but I think the deal of the day, and I hate to say this, is probably going to be uh, Econ 1. Econ 1, 1, in my overthought. I think that uh, this guy right here is a better operator, but the best value out there is this guy right here. So what's going to happen, guys? I'm going to put on my website, kb32tac.com, 
I will put a full uh, blown list of all the parts and pieces on this thing so you can pick and choose. I don't think there's a real winner and a loser here. I just think that uh, Econ One's a better value. I do think that uh, the full Monty's probably going to be the better operator, uh, but they're both good rifles. And at the end of the day, uh, I think that if you were wanting to get into three gun from the get go, if you followed this build pattern right here, I don't think you would have ever have an issue. So with that being said, uh, guys, I hope you like the series. I really appreciate the uh, excitement about it. We've got a new one coming up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to compete toe-to-toe -to -toe against a uh, factory-built uh, rifle. Uh, we're going 6.5 Creedmoor gas gun this time. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, but anyway, if you like this video series, please uh, go ahead and like, share, subscribe, and all that other cool jazz. And uh, I really appreciate it. It's Boy 32 Sport red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform 24-7 for our freedoms. Freedoms not free. I am out of here. Man, how about that? <laughs>